welcome to Angular 13. This is Jesh Peter. Today I'm going to talk about a spinning reel that I was using for three and a half years. It is nothing but Capelan Meridian 5000 or 5000. As you know, let me just give you an introduction about the Capelan. It is a subsidiary of Decathlon who sells fishing equipment for Decathlon. And this is a really old, old reel, uh, maybe uh, four years or five years, but I own it for three and a half years or four years, you can say roughly. I was using this, I was happy with uh, this one for last three and a half years, but last fishing was really a bad experience or a disaster, I would say. So I thought, okay, let me just give you a snippet how this reel is after using for three and a half years. So let me just open it. I will give you a small introduction about this reel. This is a beginner's reel. Although the Decathlon site says it is an intermediate reel, but I would suggest this for beginners. But when I consider beginners, I would suggest to use 4,000 or 3,000 spools. This is a 5,000 spool. It's a little bit larger for uh, beginners, but it doesn't matter. You can always use a bigger reel if you are really getting experience or really interested not to go for a bigger reel after using a small reel for some time and buy a new one or just go ahead not a problem but i suggest personally go with the small reel maybe not literally really small reel maybe a 3000 or 4000 then go to a 5000 reel that's the best thing you can do because i did that mistake i bought a 5000 reel at the time it was it was a big one for me it was i was feeling really heavy for with that reel but this is not heavy. Let me give you an introduction. This reel is made of uh, graphite and uh, uh, what is it called? Aluminum alloy. Uh, aluminum alloy and a graphite and it has got polyamide that is some part maybe the small screws or something. Not screw, a covering is made of polyamide. It's nothing but plastic. A kind of plastic I would say. And it has got a 3 plus 1 bearing that is altogether 4, four bearings. I, I, I'm not sure whether the bearing will that much of difference. I'm okay with four bearing even people are using one bearing reels. And this has a drag of 7 kg. That is 7 kilograms of drag. That is really good. Because many of the reel comes with, with 4 kilogram or 5 kilogram. Such a such a inexpensive reel has a 7 kilogram drag that is really good. And it has a 4.8 to 1 gear ratio that means when you spin the handle for one time the, the spool will uh, rotate for maybe 4.8 times that is 4.8 is to 1 ratio and the retrieve speed is almost 74 centimeter or 29 inch that means when you rotate for one time it will retrieve the reel of 29 inches of uh, reel it will retrieve so that is it and basically it is a 536 gram the, the total weight i don't think it is it is that much huge or it is a it is an excess weight because if you take a pen a battle three uh, it, it it is weighing on 532 grams and most of the the reels in 5000 category it, it comes around 500 to 550 grams so that's okay so let me just open this one this looks really new actually. I keep it really maintained because I keep box always uh, intact. I, I, just, I just don't throw off the box. I keep the original color and I moved, uh, moved uh, the, the line from this spool to another uh, spare spool because I wanted to wash this uh, reel so I just moved it. So this is an empty uh, reel. Okay. Now, let me just introduce this one. The spool is made of aluminum, okay? And the, the, this handle and this, this part, the bail, bail holder actually, that one is made of graphite again. And there are some polyamide items. I think that is this one, this, this screw or, or, or a bolt and a small cover here for this handle. This is polyamide, that means plastic, I think so. And it has a spool capacity of, if you're using three point, sorry, 0.35 millimeter 
mono line you can hold it can hold up to 220 meters of line and going for further it, it come to 170 meters like 4.40 like that so it's fine actually I was using braided line not the mono line so it, it was okay I was using 30 pound braided line. now I just fixed it really smooth no issues but again it depends upon the maintenance of the reel I maintain it pretty well because the moment I go for a marine fishing or a fishing on a seashore then I come back I just wash this with uh, with fresh water and I will dry this on, on the sun under the sun I, I will dry this that's why it, it, it is still looking new actually it's really good actually so I'm, I want to talk about the last fishing experience what happened was I was using a 9.8 foot seacoast road again from Cape Land it's uh, lure capacity is almost 100 gram to 200 grams but I think I was using a 40 gram and a 60 gram jig and I used a 40 gram uh, normal plastic glue I was casting and retrieving casting retrieving then I noticed that the line is just slipping off the screw and winding on the on, on this part of the reel this is the first time it is happening to me I, I it never happened to me in the past but I didn't know what is the reason it was really windy that day uh, I, I think that that could be one reason anybody has experienced not only on this role anybody using any kind of reels did you have any that kind of experience please let me know and if you know the reason let me know I couldn't find a reason for that when I was just checking with the people next to me they're also fishing with some other reels oh yeah that's the problem with the decathlon reel no I don't think so because I've been using this three and a half years no issues and I had only problem only one problem it's not a problem I what I felt was this was a really big one actually I feel this is big I don't want this big reel when I go for fishing on a jetty or uh, maybe on a what do you say on, on a soft casting I don't need this big reel but okay I'm okay with that I'm happy with this one so this is a good reel for beginners and I recommend this reel but I'm not sure that Decathlon has this reel or they, they might stop producing this reel because they have a new range of reels which is cows and cows or I don't know how to pronounce that one cows or cows and they have one more reel with by the by the brand name is I think Advent Advent it is Advent that's also good that's a new series actually it is totally different it, it doesn't have a screw like this you have to remove it like this and you put it back and this is also actually interchangeable you can change the handle from this side to this side no shoes and it has also got uh, reverse ring so if you turn this reverse ring on it just restrict you to turn this uh, spool on the opposite side it just stops you from spinning it now it is okay now it stops it's it's just rotate only on the, on the one side this is really useful and uh, the beginners the, the price is also really inexpensive okay so this is good this is really good okay and the, the reason I'm I'm doing this video is I just wanted to tell uh, I used this for three and a half years without any problem and even I have heard a lot of complaints about the decathlon rods especially on the what is it called guides again I never had such problems on my rods I think the reason is I I wash it pretty well and uh, I maintain it pretty well and now one task is pending for this one as I want to grease and I want to remove and grease and oil this this one uh, one more complaint I heard about this reel is wow, one of my friend he was using this one he says the drag is not smooth uh, not now when the Oh, on the on the strike when the fish pulls the line the drag is not really smooth it seems but it's okay because the price 
this is this, this really worth like this is one of the best reels and this is tested for around 500,000 rotation cycles like this 500,000 it is tested for 500,000 it's pretty good I think there's no issues that's it from my end I what I really need you guys to do is if you have this reel just tell me about your experience on this reel and secondly if you ever had such a situations no matter what kind of what brand uh, reel you are using if the line comes out of this and it is winding on this part of the spool just let me know that one I really want to know that reason I couldn't find any reason for that it can be wind and I'm using very uh, very weightless loads maybe between 10 grams to 40 grams on a 200 gram rod with a 30 pound line I think that could be one reason because it was really windy and it was pushing pushing the line uh, due to the wind maybe that could be one reason anyhow if anybody experienced that one please do let me know so that I can I can understand what is going wrong when I go for fishing anybody has this reel tell me your experience uh, that's it and I recommend this one for beginners not for intermediaries but I'm using it for quite a long time and I can't I have no complaints on this I have no complaints on this that's it so that's it from my end uh, thanks for watching and finally just subscribe my video and turn on the notification button share it like the video so that it will be motivation for me when you press the bell icon you will get notification about the new videos maybe it is nothing but the people are using this reel I know that I know I have seen many of them are using this reel and it will be useful for them uh, that's it so till next video bye bye